I think one of the biggest games that no one's ever talked about from what I've gathered is Jurassic The Hunted. This is an Activision game that came out in November of 2009 for the PS3, Xbox 360, Wii, and PS2. Yep, PS2 games were still being made at that time until 2011 in America, and then in 2013 elsewhere. In case you guys already probably figure out from the cover, you're particularly shooting dinosaurs. And I've seen some comments from saying that it reminds me of King Kong, the game from Ubisoft. And I do agree with that. It has that sort of atmospheric feel for a King Kong game. The game was announced three weeks before its release. And there are some major differences that I've seen between the PS3, Xbox 360, and the Wii and PS2 versions. Now, it doesn't mean it's technically a different game, so to speak. They're both the same game. But there are some major differences I have noticed while playing both versions. Now, for instance, the PS3 and 360 version has a full motion background during the main menu and a survivor mode, which is technically a zombies mode, but dinosaurs, if you guys get what I mean. And the Wii and PS2 version just has a still picture of a background and no survivor mode whatsoever. So you play as Dylan, you crash land it, and all of a sudden, you're being attacked by dinosaurs. Some people can also compare this game to Turok, and the guy looked like a guy from Turok from the reboot game, which I do agree with. That's a pretty comparable thing I've seen in my life. So you have various different weapons. You got different types of pistols. You have shotgun, a assault rifle. Well, actually, there's two different types of assault rifle, a heavy machine gun, a a crossbow that explodes, which I'm surprised didn't say explosive crossbow. I wish they would have been more descriptive there. And yeah, that's I think that's around the thing I've seen in the game. So yeah, it is a first person shooter game made for those systems. Now, there are some differences between the two versions that I've played. Now, the PS3 360 version, you can carry up to four weapons. But the Wii and PS2 version, for some reason, you can only carry up to two weapons. I find it funny because there are certain PS2 games that I have played that can carry up to, like, three weapons. Which is kind of weird to me, if I'm honest. Also, on the PS3 360 version, you can pick up metal parts for like, it's it's more like a collectible item, so it's not like important or anything, but it's just fun to find. There's also some upgrade abilities like magazine ammo, you know, to upgrade, and you got the adrenaline upgrade where you can last 30 seconds long without losing the adrenaline thingy. Yeah, the adrenaline thing is supposed to be like something similar off to the Cabela's games. If you guys have played them from Activision, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's kind of like... It's kind of like the x-ray when you shoot the deers and bears and such. To hint for weak spots you guys can find and shoot. Also, what's strange is that the PS2 version, it lacks any upgrades and collectibles. I don't know why this is a weird thing. The Wii and PS2 version doesn't have that, but the PS3 360 version does. And I find it funny, considering the game, you guys can finish up to an hour and 30 minutes. I'm not making this up. It's that short. I don't know what the launch price of the game was, but I will say that that game is a short game to play. But I will go on to say that if you guys have nothing to do, just, well, you can just play it, of course. The game can also be repetitive at times because you're going around shooting dinosaurs, which is fine and all. But most of the time, you're just going to be running to a turret and shoot a bunch of dinosaurs coming after you. At the next second later, you're doing the same thing, shooting dinosaurs with your regular guns, and then a second later, you're back to doing the same turret stuff again. Which, it, you're going to be seeing that a lot. And I mean you're going to be seeing that a lot. And then the next part, there'll be like a thing where you're in a base, but you have to defend it from the other dinosaurs coming in. So think of it as Nazi zombies with dinosaurs. Which is essentially the survivor mode is what I was trying to save them for. So yeah. Repairing is pretty quick, to say the least. But the thing for me is that the Wii and PS2 versions feel more difficult than the PS3 and 360 version. Mainly because you're running out ammo faster than you're trying to find some weapons. And you have more dinosaurs coming after you, so you're trying to shoot them as fast as you can so you can survive and such. But again, you're going to be wasting more ammo, which is insane. 
again, the PS2 and Wii version, you only carry up to two weapons. Up then opposed to the PS3 and their 60 version, in which you carry up to four weapons, which I find that one much easier than the PS2 and Wii version. Sometimes on the while well, I was playing the PS2 version, or or at least it's also the Wii, because this is strange. You know the sprint button, which is the L3 button? Well, you can press it on the PS3 and 360, but when you do it on the PS2, you have to hold it. I'm sort of thinking they ported the Wii version to the PS2 somehow. Because this is kind of the biggest evidence I can find. Also, at times on the PS2 version, from what I've played, it has some frame rate issues when it comes to too many enemies on screen. But it doesn't mean it's unplayable by all means. Now, despite it coming on the PS2 and Wii, the lighting against that doesn't even look that bad. Which, I'll be honest, the lighting in the game is better than anything that I would have expected, because we all know how late PS2 games can turn out. Some of them could be just copy and paste, or some could be the worst graphics you've seen in your life. Now, automatically on the PS2, you'll get L2 and R2 to aim and shoot, but if you guys don't like it, you can change it back to the traditional L1 and R1. I will go on to say that the game did get mixed reviews, and I don't blame them for that. I remember a cousin of mine owning the game, but I never actually watched to, to play the game, or actually play the game myself. So, when I finally got the game for myself, I actually was, well, I guess I had a little fun with it, to say the least. So, if you guys have nothing to do and want to play something to waste your time, then you can play Jurassic the Haunted. I think the PS360 version, as everyone said, is supposed to be the better version, considering it has an additional mode. There's also the trophies, which, these trophies are super easy to get. I'm not making this up, like, shoot like a hundred dinosaurs, you'll just get them. But again, I don't think it matters which version, but look, if you want a more difficult side, play the Wii and PS2 version, by all means. Want to stick to the easy part, but with that additional mode, PS3 and 360 version will do. So, that's about it right here. Let me know what kind of dinosaur games you guys played.